Now, Bobby Wine has been advised to start moving with his own microphone to avoid poison from enemies and mafias in this country. Now, I think we all know Kaye Wizidom very well. He's a renowned social analyst and a very good supporter of the Museveni government. He said even the regime can give billions of money to one of Bobby Wine's close bodyguards just to poison him. So he requested Bobby Wine to be careful, especially in times like this when there are too much poison accusations in the country. But in his own words, he said, the regime can give one of his close bodyguards a 1 billion shillings together with a visa just to poison him. In fact, he should start moving with his own microphone because if at all something bad happens to him, it will cost this country a lot. That is a Kaye wisdom and I hope that Bobby Wine has taken note of this advice. I think it's a good one. Yeah, I think it's a good one. Anyway, thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on that subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, in other news, the other day I told you that uh, Ugandans are complaining about the too much money. That is a uh, 2.5 billion that has been injected in the burial process of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya. However, the latest news I have on the Buzz UG indicates that um, IGG, that is uh, Inspector General of Government, Betty Kamia, has promised to investigate this money, the 2.5 billion. Now, Betty Kamia says if Jacob Olanya was around, he wouldn't have allowed all this money to be splashed in this burial process. And in her own words, she said, the spirit of the departed Jacob Olanya must be very horrified by the obscene cash bonanza in his funeral expenses. He wouldn't allow it if he had a choice. Yeah, so that is uh, Betty Kamia for you. Uh, we hope that uh, she will come out with the results of the investigations as soon as possible. I mean, that is what Ugandans want to hear. So a big up to Betty Kamia. And of course, we hope that the results will come out as soon as possible. Now, in other news, the Chief Justice of Uganda, that is Owinyi Dolo, has today visited Buganda Kingdom headquarters in Mengo to convey his apology to the kingdom over the inappropriate statements he recently made at the Right Honorable Jacob Olanya's vigil. But you are ethnic leader, you, you, you who were demonstrating. Your ethnic leader was transported in a presidential jet to Germany using public funds. He was not entitled. You did not demonstrate. Now, Chief Justice apologized to the Kabaka and uh, the people of Buganda, and uh, after the meeting, he addressed the media. And in his own words, he said, After this, we are better people than before the meeting. I thank the delegation that accompanied me here. This is proof that we can resolve differences between us amicably as people than if it was my victory against the Katikro or the Katikro against me. This is proof on the wider spectrum that we can resolve differences between us as people amicably and the result of such process are more lasting than if it was to be my victory against the Katikiro or Katikiro's victory against me. Mirundi minji tu sovya mubye tu kora. Kwa mune isaya, kwa mubye tu ogera. Na si cha abuli jo mtu kufayu na ganti, pa nene nasoveza na chitegede. Era cha abade si chiru unji. Cheta agobu fumu unji, okore echo. Aono sebo tu kweba zoku vero msa jo mfumu. No vayo, no ja, gabo tu uri dewa no. Doza anti chiri mwe choku iga cha amanyi. There you go. That is uh, the Chief Justice of Uganda. And personally, I think he, he has done a very good thing. Yeah, He realized his mistake and uh, as a leader, he had to do as he did today. Yeah, so big up to the Chief Justice Alphonse Owinyi Dolo. Big up to him. So that is uh, the latest set of stories that I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. But in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.